Here's how you fly a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. Climb aboard, strap yourself in, close the hatch, fly to space. The Dragon takes care of everything, so relax and enjoy the ride. Unless, of course, something goes wrong. And in space, something can always go wrong. The new ship has nothing to do with NASA's old Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo capsules that were very much designed with an airplane cockpit in mind. Their sheet metal instrument panels were studded with hundreds of switches, dials, lights, and analog gauges. The astronauts would use a control stick to fly the vehicle. The Dragon's designers swept all of that away, replacing everything with three large touch screens. Each screen is capable of calling up as many as 10 sets of displays. Ideally, the spacecraft helps the astronauts so much that they have virtually nothing to do with the ship operating entirely autonomously. Only if the Dragon runs into a failure would the astronauts take over. System failures can occur in space and learning to fly the Dragon by hand can take some doing. Stripping out the control stick and replacing it with buttons on a touchscreen makes for a more elegant spacecraft, but it also eliminates the physical connection a pilot has to the vehicle. The biggest risk aboard Dragon is a fire caused by a battery overheating, and there are a lot of batteries aboard the ship. Not only the spacecraft's own, but the batteries of tablets, cameras, and smartphones the crew will carry. Inspiration4 will be in orbit for three days, flying independently, without the security of arriving at the International Space Station. Every day the Inspiration crew spend on their own is another day during which something can go wrong. Space remains, ever and always, a dangerous place to go. But the right engineering and the right crew can make things a lot safer.